Type and Fail of Nakali. Wow, I've done a Street Fighter Rise and Fall video in ages. In fact, I think the last video I've done was the Rise and Fall of Guile years ago. Probably should have done this then, but hey, better late than never. Now let's talk about your boy, Nakali. Your boy. Now, of course, there wasn't a rise, but there was hype. And again, this character was overhyped. The trailer put this guy on a level he wasn't actually at. Again, in the trailer, we saw this guy kicking the crap out of Ryu. Everyone thought to themselves, damn, this is the new top guy, the new bad boss in the game. I touched on this in previous videos. All hype. The character looks cool. In fact, let's put some respect on Akali's name. You have to give it up for the design, because just looking at this character right here, it looks like a mix between Sabretooth, friggin' Blanca mixed with Wolverine or some shit. Dude looks like a monster, okay? And it was their first Aztec character, meaning this guy's going up against Koto Khan, going up against Ogre, Street Fighter's version. And for the most part, he started out good. If you look at his chapter, you have this warrior prophet putting Nakali over, singing this guy's praise. The trailer made him look good as well. But when we got to the canon story, it was a different story. Ryu and Dalsim were chilling, then Nakali shows up. Looking like a badass, looking like a threat out here. You have this one fodder cop literally shitting himself protect and serve and he's <laughs> yeah pissing his pants Dalsim has to jump in to make the save and Ryu takes on Nakali Nakali spits some garbage bars about he wants to absorb his soul they fight and guess what Nakali drops Ryu on his ass again knocked down and not defeated you can see him getting up right here that is impressive okay that's a good look for Nakali so far Ryu struggling with the dark shadow dows him jumps in and then fights Nakali but this fight ends in a draw <laughs> So this right here was already a mistake. Already the big new threat has been contained and he ran off. Definitely not good booking right there and you have to question what's going on right there. For the first time this guy shows up, he needs to be a threat. He needs to destroy everyone. He didn't do that. So the alarm bells were ringing right there. Ryu went off to train with Ken and then Akali made the biggest mistake of his career <laughs> by showing up at M. Bison's base to attack him. This is when we realized that this guy was just a side character and not the real deal. Akuma wasn't here yet people. Everyone was thinking damn is he gonna take the spot? Is he gonna be the big new threat? Took on the legendary Street Fighter boss and guess what? Got clapped. Laid out flat on his back, looking up at the lights, literally. He then pops back up and guess what? Freaking Fang has put hands. Fang has put paws on Nakali. Now what does the new badass villain do? Tucks his tail and runs. Again. And then the next time we see these guys chasing Rashid and Charlie looking goofy as hell. This scene was bare goofy. This guy didn't look like a scary villain. He looked silly. So by the time this guy finally showed up to face Ryu in the rematch, the damage was already done. This guy should have been kept away from all battles and saved for Ryu to look like the threat. Instead fighting these other people and getting washed and backing down, destroyed his overall image then of course we know what's gonna happen here right and for the most part at the start of the fight Nakali looked like he was giving him the business then slowly we saw that Ryu was just outmaneuvering him and making him look stupid as the fight continues Ryu manages to control the power of nothingness Charges it up, Nakali attacks, and he takes out Nakali with a 
crouching medium punch. The big new threat, the guy people were saying was the next Akuma, a top new villain, is taken out by a crouching medium punch. Not no super fireball, not no super dragon punch, a crouching medium punch to the gut. Dude collapsed like a freaking sandcastle, then get up and said, oh, why couldn't I absorb you? What? Then Dalsim shows up and basically says, get lost, his soul is no longer yours to devour, and dude listened and ran off again. Wow. And he was never seen again in the canon story. Let's keep it a buck, people. Nakali was introduced just to put Ryu over. Dude was used as a tool to allow Ryu to master his power of nothingness. That's all. Dude didn't absorb any of the other characters. Got washed. Got laid flat on his back by M. Bison. Punched out the building by Fang. Came back to Ryu, got clapped. And of course, when Akuma did arrive, washed him in his chapter. <laughs> what a flop. And again, when you talk about good Street Fighter villains, ain't nobody gonna mention Nakali. Your boy fell, I can't even say fell off. He didn't even start. They dropped the ball here. 